It's time for the Gizwiz with Matt's Maddest Writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 2003, recorded Thursday, August 29th, 2024. Stop bugging me! On this episode of the Gizwiz, Dick D. has a way to find bugs, but not the insect kinds. We also have an RGB alarm clock plus the last of my time-based gadgets in the crappy corner. All next on The Giz It's the same old show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for The Giz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology. Rows and rows of USBs. Growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for The Giz now. Now! Now, and here he is, the Pirate of gadgets. He likes to snatch up gadgets and put it in his gadget booty hall. I don't know what you call that thing, but yeah, in his <laughs> cave of gadgets. The treasure chest. Treasure the chest treasure of chest. gadgets. Anyway, how are you doing, Diggy D? I'm doing good, sir. And you? Doing great. Doing good. Excellent, excellent. I am wearing my. It gets more, more comments as we get closer to the election. The anxiety. Anxiety state. And anxiety state. Yes, I am I am on the dean's list. Oh, at anxiety state. At anxiety yeah. state. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah, I feel so like... People uh, go by and go, oh, I'm in that state too. My yeah. wife goes to that university. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Ah, I'm in... Uh, the, yes, exactly. That state I live in constantly. Honestly. Yes. I am I, uh, a alumni. lot of us. A lot of us. Alumni. Do. And... I sent you a link because yesterday, CES. Yeah. Unveiled. Their new logo. There it is. It is I, a I, circle and a trapezoid. I don't know what that is. Do you? This? That? I, this is just a symbol. It is, well, um, read what it's supposed to be. That? Um, it's supposed to be a thing? Yes. I assumed their, it was like the, uh, the... It's their wings. <laughs> Just, um, About the, the mark. that embodies the connection between technology and humanity. It pays wow. homage to our roots. The iconic CES fins <laughs> while embracing the future. I don't see the fins, do you? From, one second, from, okay. We're talking about this thing, right? I think, That yes. fin, it looks like a credit card is about to go into a ATM terminal. Like, I don't know what, what, what fins. This looks that, like a, this looks like yeah, a, you're I, I, is yeah. eclipsing the moon with a cell phone. You know what? I kept looking around thinking, is there a different logo? Because I don't see fins. <laughs> you know what? I, when I think of fins, I think of the Batmobile. This is, yeah. This is, that is so funny. F the fins. Well, embracing the future. The intersecting elements symbolize our industry's connection with society, creating a frame to envision a world where technology seamlessly integrates with our lives to make it a better place. The space <laughs> between the intersecting element. Yeah, this is uh, uh, I, I, yeah. above Scooter my pay grade. Just the same thing. He said he was also very confused. I, I, I kept thinking. Well, where is all this? And then I thought, well, I guess that thing at the top of the page is it. This, you know what this seems like to me? CEOs beaten. CEOs. They love the words. They love the logos. This screams corporations like I've never, you know, and that is what CES yeah. is. I mean, it's <laughs> a world we don't understand. <laughs> Uh, it is, yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, Mr. Dave may have a. Uh, oh, this, oh, this is, oh, oh. They made a video. Did you ever see the Staples video about um, them redoing the Staples logo? 
Did you no. ever see this? Okay, this no. I, we might see this after, but let's see. Here's a quick video. Okay. This is kind of going, I guess, through all of their logos. Yes. Okay, there we go. The CTA uh, it and that's CTA. it. That's it. Refreshed, recreated, reimagined. And really okay. expensive, I am sure. Uh, <laughs> let's see this. I want to just show this to you. Uh, Staples logo reveal. This mostly got made fun of just because of how epic this presentation is. In fact, I think I might need to skip through it because it's two minutes and 14 seconds long. Uh, let me see if I can find oh here. This oh. is uh, the most replayed here. So let's see the the reveal. This is the old Staples logo. Oh, the, the old Staples, okay. Yeah, the old Staples logo. Did you know this is a staple? Oh, I always thought it's, uh, it was strapless. <laughs> no, that's supposed to be a bent staple. Oh, oh. And the Staples oh logo God, is a staple with a little I, bend in it. So that's I the... Never, oh, I get it now. But, but I this is the old one. Right. Remember, this is the because old this is logo. Old. This, is the, this is the original. Okay. Oh... Dun, dun, dun. Remember, by the way, I've skipped 40 seconds into this video. There was 40 seconds of intro up until... Crispy bacon nose. Oh my god, the crowd goes wild. People are cheering. They're taking out their phones to take photos of the new staple logo. The entire corporation is rushing the stage. Anyway, yeah, pretty. <laughs> that could be remade. CES 2025. They may have a moment where they get rid of the old logo and bring in the new one. They and may, that they excitement may. might happen on stage. That may, they may. Unbelievable. <laughs> so CES yeah. has a new logo. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like Unbelievable. It. I like Unbelievable. It. <laughs> I think we need a new logo. And we need to commission one of those crazy logo reveals. I'm sure that we can yes, get the same, yes, we... the same thing done on Fiverr. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I'm well, pretty sure we can yeah. pull that off. Uh, let's, yeah, let's jump into some yeah, gadgets. Yeah, let's jump into a gadget. Okay, gadget number one right here, folks. It's time to check the intelligent detector. Does it work? The in uh, uh, uh. Let's see. Uh. Ah. Not a sound. No. Oh, I guess it, it works. Is working. It's working. No <laughs> I took your joke. Detected. Okay. <laughs> uh, so in theory, this is supposed to be like you go to a hotel or a B and B. And you want to know if you're being spied on, okay? So, hold the button in. Everything will light up for a minute as it comes on. Okay. Mm -mm. Okay. Little blue light means it's in the first mode, which is finding RF oh. signals, okay? So, it could find an RF signal. You would think it would find an RF signal on a phone. Oh what no, that thing never sends any data. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> on a computer. Moreover, in the corner. Uh, all right. So, I'm not terribly sensitive. The second button up, the second mode up, is to find a camera if the camera's not on. All right. So, this is a little tricky. You're supposed to move it around until you see the yeah, I like, like in catch the lens. The lens? I see. So you can see there's a camera there. Hang on, I'm going to pull up this little 
There's a little window here you pull up huh. with a filter in it. And then shine that on that. And if you want, you can blink it. I don't know, huh. Dennis, can you the see the fast blinking lens sort of helps. Oh, Okay, all right. That's a way to find the camera reflection. if it's not on. All right, and then we'll go to the next mode, which is green. And that's to detect magnets, magnetism. Okay. So I have this huh. little spotlight has a magnet on the back. The thing is, in one of the videos, it says, if someone puts a bomb under your car with a magnet holding it there, I think this is this is how close it had to be. So it's, <laughs> Uh, yep, that's a ball. Right, you have to get, have to get under your car. And, okay, a little handy dandy flashlight. Click it again. There's a blue light. See the blue light? Mm -hmm. Okay. It looks now, on camera. you have 10 seconds to put this in your luggage, in your bag. And then it'll and explode. It sets. And then after 10 seconds, it becomes a motion detector. So if oh. someone goes to pick up your bag, you will hear that someone is moving where you put this. Uh, I mean, if you're really important and you're yeah. looking for uh, people spying on you, I'm sure you're going to have something that costs hundreds of dollars. This cost um, 40 bucks. The coupon's still up there. It's 36 bucks. Um, got 198 ratings, uh, 4.3 stars. So it's kind of interesting. Okay. It is the intelligent detector. <laughs> the intelligent do you, do you worry about that in a hotel? Man, I mean, I definitely worry about it more in an Airbnb. Is I've heard. Oh, and well, oh seen that's interesting. Yeah. Horror stories of. of uh, yeah, renting out someone's home or apartment, and and uh, yeah, that's that's somewhere I'd want to sweep. At least I, I, whenever I get to an Airbnb, I just use my eyes, <laughs> you know, and you go, anything looks suspicious. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I I like the idea of this gadget. It just seems so manual, so finicky, like so. It's it just seems like it could leave you it. High and dry, quite easily. If you yeah, if, I I think it's too inexpensive, and, and you're right. It it's sort of iffy. Yeah, I mean it, it has a it has a range thing, but when I put it on high, didn't make any difference finding stuff. Um, I don't know. It's for a very small area. I, I yeah, I that's the thing. Is it seems it seems to be yeah. Such this a is small... this is for like a room. Yeah, a small room, not. Yeah. A conference room, yeah. maybe an Airbnb. Maybe that's there. You um, go. There you go. That size of thing. There you um, go. I mean, this is a weird. here, wife. I got you a <laughs> bug detector. <laughs> just it keeps you peace of mind. Um, yeah, and I I also just wish that the that the uh, the readout. You know, the way that you could tell that there's a bug in the room was a bit more. Pronounced it gave or? me more confidence. It just does not give me any confidence. So this thing is like, uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess I just don't know how else to say it. I feel not confident that this would yeah. actually. Yeah. No, I mean, you could be walking by and it could be a magnet on the refrigerated door tripping it. It. it yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And then like RF, you know, it's like, okay, is anything sending out radio frequency? A remote control will do that. If I hit the remote control in the other room, is that thing going to go off? Like, I don't know. Um, I almost wish it was like, you know what blew my mind back in the day when you uh, could see the uh, thermal cam cameras? That would be cool if you could do that with RF signal. You know, like search with a camera and it's like, ooh, RF coming from that corner. Probably mm -hmm. that technology is in my head only. But uh, that's the type of confidence that I want with a gadget, and this just doesn't give it. Yeah. I think $36 means 
low confidence. Thirty-six dollars. It gives the impression that this is a toy. Uh, yeah, you know. Yeah. Someone a, said you could let the kids play with it and keep them busy for a long time. Right. Right. Is yeah. It, it gives you. It, it's cheap enough that yeah, it doesn't seem like any any real thing would use. I don't quite get this filter thing. The, the which one? That the filter, the red filter, and the light, yeah, and the yeah, I don't the get thing. why you need the red filter. I mean, because the lights bounce off the. Yeah. The uh, I'm not sure why they added that on either. I'm trying to think. Anyway, um, <clears throat> Scooter X has uh, found an option on AliExpress. Oh, okay. This looks almost exactly like your uh, one, even with the. Oh my goodness! Very close. Um. 20 bucks. Um, oh, my, okay. With free shipping. Now, yours was 40, so about half price. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Yeah, look at that. Lens oh recognition my goodness. lens. I love the lens recognition lens. I never <laughs> noticed that before. Um, so, yeah, there you go. It's the X13. Uh, the X in the model number makes you. It's extreme. I don't know. Uh, cool. It's, 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 uh, I don't think I'd ever buy one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fun to see you play around with it. I don't think I'd ever get one. No. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I was, was not ter terribly impressed with it. Um, okay, a fun gadget and the story of how I happened to find it. On last week's show, Chad showed the portable bed shaker alarm clock. And after the show, I, w I went to Amazon to find that clock, to find some more facts about it. And on the way there, I saw the disco bed shaker clock. Now what? And I thought, is it going to be something that looks good in the picture? And then was like that, I forgot what it was that I ordered. Uh, oh, yeah, that, that, the... Uh, Sleep mask that looked like it had disco lights. Anyway, the disco bed shaker clock. Da -da oh, oh, wow. I think looks pretty good. Right? Each cell is I think it, it oh, individually neat. changing. Now, the yes, thing is, yes. that is an option, okay? You can go over to color screen and then you can just make it a regular clock. And the great thing is a lot of people like red numbers, people, other people, I like green for a clock uh, or blue. So all the colors of the disco thing you can have. At the top, you can have a night light here and it is the same thing. You can have a solid color night light. Uh, it's changing all those colors. And but each uh, one of the them is color. adjustable for brightness on the side. Wow. Okay, you can turn them off. You can turn them down. Oh, I guess I, I guess I turned that clock off. Um, okay. Then the bell oh, in the back. Okay. Settings are very nice. Okay. Oh yeah. Big buttons. Easy to read. You I hit like alarm that. one and then plus or minus to set the time. Alarm, it has two alarms. Alarm two, uh, plus or minus to set the time. <laughs> Uh, hit set time, same deal. It's very easy to set the time. Uh, volume of the clock and the shaker, low, medium, and loud. Okay. Also, a little USB charging port in the back. And I have a you little know, all device charging here that ports lets you see. Volts. Ah, no. Output. But that's typically, mm -hmm. it's yeah, kind of I the deep. Sure it's I very a little, little gadget that okay. tells you. Yeah, I think I've gotten because you're really two point four before to clock uh, to charge your phone. It's putting out five volts. Okay, five point ten. Volts. Yes, that's a snooze button on top. Okay, the so night now light with is the also bed a shaker, snooze button. I didn't feel like undoing all this cable. That's cool. That has a going whole inside and puck. putting under the pillow. So I thought I'd hear what it uh, what it sounds like on the desk. Now <laughs> you a very st a funny story about that. All right, so. There's an output here for the vibrator, okay? And then, uh, what official time is it? It is 10, 
I'm assuming that, yeah. I didn't know if we unset the clock while we were playing with it. The other thing is, once you set the clock, you have to put it down carefully because, as you can see, things are changing every time you touch the clock. Both oh, sides of the there, clock got touch control touch on the I top. Dislike touch control buttons. So when you get all the settings, just gently put it down and it'll like stay squeeze the also, screen. This battery back. backup, okay? The clock won't be on, but if power goes out, it'll save the settings, okay? So when power comes back, the clock will come on and remember the time and your alarm. All right, so we set it for 1024, and notice by handling the clock, I have... Touched it, yeah. Oh, there, I'm back to my disco lighting. I'm surprised that You're each probably gonna have this turn one off changes all colors. All the way down before you go to bed. Shaker on, sound on, those are the little... <laughs> Wow! Okay, this will go on for... I think it said three, three minutes. Three, the oh, that's... Okay. <laughs> so the funny thing is, when I heard that, I thought, you know what? If you're a heavy sleeper, don't put it under your pillow. Just put it on a table. Yeah, put it on a glass and tabletop. <laughs> yes. Before I recorded this, I ran through some of the reviews <laughs> to see if anybody pointed out anything different. And it was very funny for us. Several people said... If you're a heavy sleeper, leave the shaker on the nightstand because it makes a terrible racket. Yeah. You will not sleep. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> so I like this clock a lot. Uh, uh, um, let's see. It is 17 bucks. All right. And if you don't want the shaker system, look over there. The same clock for it's 12, 12 bucks. bucks. Oh, yeah. Eleven ninety nine. Okay. That is honestly, uh, I'm impressed, really, um, with it. With it, I, I, the individual. I don't know what you call those. The cells in a number. I would have definitely assumed that if it did RGB, everything would have been one block of yes. color. Yes, it's 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 amazing. It's really cool. It's a yeah. quite unique effect that I haven't seen. Uh, often. Yeah, so. and up at the top, you can, in the picture, it's doing all the colors, but up at the top, which is also the nightlight, you can select any single color that's in any of those numbers. It, yeah. It's a lot for 17 bucks. Now, do 12. you, I was also curious, the slider, one issue that I have with some nightlights is they don't get dark enough. You like, can shut it off. You off, can dock in it until it's off. That's cool. That's really cool. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, I think that this is... Uh, that. <laughs> I mean, I was already pretty impressed with it. But, uh, yeah, if you need a way to wake you up and have no chance of missing it, uh, that's uh, that vibration module <laughs> is uh, pretty... Bouncing around will do crazy. it. Crazy. That is pretty cool. I still have mine. I don't. There's no way it bounces that much compared to yours. Oh, that's right. Yours. That's right. The whole clock vibration. The whole clock right? was a was the vibration. Um, and I, you know, appreciate the uh, the ease of use with uh, setting it too. Um, I think that the uh, okay. I just turn it on. It'll go off here in, in a moment. I'm gonna set it um, directly on the wood, unlike. I had it before, so we'll see. Yeah, that's um, yeah, has to be a hard surface, right? Um, but <laughs> yeah, that was pretty funny. The uh, just how much it would rattle around. Um, let's see. Oh, Mars Warren. The the reason there's a, a phone in the picture is it has a charging port in the back. I the see. clock. Uh, and the, you, what's uh, funny is you're right. When you talked about those head the headset thing, is uh, by looking at this you'd be like, wait, is it actually? Oh. It was mine. Not nearly. No. Because yours stays in one place, but yeah. the other part kind of dances. No. Not at all. Man, that's crazy. Uh, only $17. I'm really impressed with that yeah. price. And 12 bucks if you don't need the shaker. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. 
I like it. Um, oh, yeah, and that for deaf seniors and teens. Wait, do they sell it just in blue, not RGB? Wait. Oh, wait, what? Why would they have it in different colors if it's just the screen that's different? Oh, that's so stupid. What is that? Am I crazy? That doesn't look like the actual... Here, let's go here. It doesn't look like... Why would they sell... Oh, the screen only does blue. Oh, the screen only does blue. The, oh, oh, the light. I, oh, well, then the thing is it's all the same price. So yeah, that doesn't that... make any sense. Wait, why would you get a white or a black one if the... Or if the... Yeah, that does not RGB. make any sense. <laughs> Oh, and it's a buck more. Yeah, it's a buck more to get a solid color. Anyway, definitely look at that before you check it out. That is a riot. That's really funny. A scooter uh, except found a fancier one. Ooh, even fancier. Wow, look it does have a different do. design. Oh, my. <laughs> temperature, month and day, the day of the day, the Thursday. The buttons are at the top. Same type of uh, thing. It has a puck that'll do the vibration. That's crazy. Oh, and that's cheaper too. Yeah, look at that. It's only sixteen I can't, bucks. I can't believe these prices. Good morning. Morning. Oh, oh and the, and the base lights up. Yeah, the base disco lights colors. up. And well, you may you you may have to try have for to another. <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, look, all the way down. Oh, you can w wall mount it. What? That's cool. Oh wait, does it have the shaker? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, it does. It so does. here's okay. the the okay. port for it. I saw it earlier. There's a port for the shaker somewhere. There's a oh, there, there it is. Vibration, yes. Vib yeah, there's the connector. connection. And then yeah. I saw that puck. Uh, there it is, right there. That is a lot for sixteen bucks. I know. That's good. Thanks, Scooter X, for, for finding that. Um, That's great. <laughs> there you go. I honestly had no idea that they sold cell, uh, uh, sold uh, clocks that had each segment uh, light up a different... Neither did I. I did not. So <laughs> if you hadn't found that clock, I wouldn't have went searching for... It's <laughs> pretty cool. Uh, anyway, it was great. Okay, well, down to uh, our... Our final line. guy is a little... Uh, what the heck is it? We haven't done it in a while. Mm -hmm. hey, what the heck is it? Now, if I was playing this, I have two guesses. Oh. Guess. Mm -hmm. Diggity, I think I own this. Pencils or something. Or you do? I think I do. Okay, utensils. Okay, I would, you know what? I would guess that the it was per, a cigar kind of holder, would. like the oh. cat holding <laughs> cigars. Or... A really neat travel umbrella. Yeah, it kind of looks like that. But it is neither. Maybe this would be a possible hint. A pill holder? <laughs> yes. Okay. Is it, are you kidding? Yeah. No. Pencil box. Um, that's it. Holder. Yeah. Oh, this from Johnny Jet. Okay. Especially if you take big pills. I take these guys, glucosamin, chondroitin, and those pills are, these, this is, I don't know why current pillbox, okay? And they're huge. As someone said, the problem with these kind of things is that the writing keeps wearing off. Sometimes you drop it and these things open up and the pills go everywhere. So this is supposed to solve all this. Uh uh um or the little arrow here to push uh now. This is kind of neat. All right, so they're actually printed on. And you know what? The, I don't know if they're going to take these great big pills. You have to take three of these a day. And I also take another smaller pill. But you know what? This will work. This will yeah, work. Those, those compartments are uh, plenty big. And you said, said, be careful when you slide it out that it's face up. Yes, no, yeah. <laughs> you know, you're absolutely right. That would be... Yeah, it could be a disaster. Yeah. yeah. You know what? It is keyed. 
Actually, it has a little window. latch on it. It is a key for it, so but you are correct. You need to have it facing up the to same push thing, on the thing to remember. Mark, put a piece of tape or something on it. So you know yeah, no, the thing, no, it's marked here. Oh, okay, oh. remember, when you open it, arrow side up, okay? Um, also, when I used to travel, sometimes you would throw a lot of stuff in your suitcase, and these would pop open, and you'd have pills everywhere in your suitcase. Um, so this is really nice. All right. So far, I haven't spilled any pills. It is about 13 bucks. I'm going to have Chad go to the Amazon page, <laughs> because you can buy this in combination with another uh, pill carrier that they make that is shaped like a giant pill, <laughs> which is kind of funny. But, uh, I think this is pretty neat comes in colors and as I said I believe it was twelve ninety five. That's it. Nom 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 pills. Yeah, this is uh, it's the uh, same Is it that the one you have? Uh not this exact one, but the same idea of that it's a a sleeve and then the container um, oh, okay. inside of there. Uh PC, there we go. Um and yeah, I mean, it, it does. Oh, wait, it, wait, it went way up in. Price. Well, that's because I'm not signed in, so it's it'll be twelve ninety nine. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. Right. And then fifteen okay. percent coupon at the moment. Which is oh, okay. Nice. Okay. And then they now can scroll have this down, buy two, and you save five. Keep going down down at the bottom. There should be. Uh, do you want to buy combos? I, oh, there it is. The second one. <laughs> this. Look at this pill thing. Look at that. That looks impra. It also looks 3D printed in that photo. Yeah, um, but it almost it almost looks a little impractical, doesn't it? It looks extremely impractical. Yeah, like to have to. That looks like it. I, I, I'd have a difficult time with that. And it seems like you'd need a lot of dexterousness to move to slide one out yeah and keep the others not and then not spill the thing as you're trying to do that yeah it does not seem like a very good design at all um now you spent uh, on the uh original it was 12.99 yeah and then scooter x has oh. found a similar option for four dollars and fifty one cents. Uh, that looks pretty oh. pretty close, but not quite. Pretty, yeah, almost. But the quite a difference in price. Yeah, yeah. It also looks like it doesn't quite. Does yours have like a uh, latch? This one doesn't look like yeah, a, yeah. I guess this looks it, it does friction. have friction. Yeah, this helps you open it right side up all the time. That you have to push down on that. Yes. Yes. And the piece says he found the pill one for 99 cents. The pill one? Oh my gosh, let me look. Oh my gosh, it is 99 cents. It is the word the ugliest thing isn't still? It, isn't it? Oh, it's the same one with those ugly oh. colors in the same photo. Yes. Sorry, the alarm. I hit snooze on the alarm the last time. Um, yeah, it's the exact same photo. Yeah. Here's how it works. Yeah, that's weird. I would. I think that that would not be useful. No, I, I don't like that at all. And why would you be giving that many pills to a goldfish anyway? <laughs> that just makes no sense. Animal that cruelty. Uh, yeah, a <laughs> dollar. How do they do that? That like worries me about. If that's only a dollar, what else is less than that? Like, and that's just they're making a profit. How does this work? Yeah. Um, yeah, really cool. Uh, uh, the, I, I like that, uh, that pill container has no possible way of getting dropped. The one you're talking about. And yes. Yep. Popping yep. over. Um, and popping open. Like, that seems like the perfect travel pill container. You could put it in actual luggage, have it bounce around and not worried that all the caps are going to pop off and, and exactly. get your pills everywhere. Exactly. Um, yeah, I think it's great. I think I think it's a a nice gadget. Very good. And 
solve your problem. Large pails, they fit. Yep, fit it, they fit in. Yep. With that, let's move on to Chad's Crappy Corner. But you might want it at Chad's Crappy Corner. Get it. Okie dokie, this is the last of our time-based gadgets. I recorded a video just earlier, so check it out. Hey Diggity, so here we are with another time-themed gadget. And the idea with this time-based gadget is that you may need to sometimes take a step away from your gadgets or snacks or anything that can fit inside of this box. So it's not quite a safe, but it kind of is a similar idea. It's just a plastic sort of bucket. Uh, it's called Mind Sight. And on the lid is a timer. And so if you need to, you know, put your phone away for oh. a few hours during the day, you can now lock it in this lock box, uh, set a timer, and then you will not have access to it until the timer uh, runs out. Let's quickly look at it uh, on Amazon before I uh, show you how to kind of use it. Uh, it, it was $45. Um, you can see a few more of the things that you might want to lock yourself away from. Skittles, maybe the phone, <laughs> maybe you're trying to quit smoking, maybe it's the video games, and maybe it's the credit card, you know? Maybe you, there's a few hours during the day you need, whew, gotta put away the credit card, okay? I just, I need it away. Um, okay, so what's really cool about this actually is that it really isn't meant to be like super secure. And so what I like is that they put the instructions directly on the bottom uh, and they're pretty simple. There's three different modes that this has. One is just to lock the, the lid in place. So let's take something. I just, I got to stop charging my devices for a little while. I just got to stop. Um, so one way is just to lock it. And so you click and hold this center button for five seconds. So one, two, three, four, five. There we go. And now it's locked. Can't get in. Uh, it's all plastic. By the way, this is a, like a rubbery silicone soft rubber type of thing. Uh, and pet hair does kind of get attached to it. Uh, just letting you know. To unlock it, you may think, click and hold. You don't do that actually. You use a code to unlock it. See if anyone can remember this code. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. What? And that will unlock the box. That is the Konami code with some A's and B's uh, missing. I think select start. Um, okay, so uh, that's uh, really uh, all uh, the, of that mode. But if you want to use the timer, which is, of course, what we're here for, Click it once and you'll see that uh, the display uh, starts to update. The first one is days. So you could lock something away for 29 days. And you put basically 30 days if uh, you do all, uh, all the hours and stuff. Days, hours, minute. Let's just set this for one minute. Uh, hit the button. It'll give you a 15 second countdown. And so you can cancel this by clicking any of the buttons uh, on the top. Um, and it just gives you time to, you know, put the, the, the lid on, uh, before it locks away. So there we go. Our timer is counting down. It's right there on the top of the box. And you can imagine, uh, if this had hours and days on it, it would also, uh, include that data. Um, if you absolutely have to get back into the box, let's say, you can see the notification, you know, your wife's calling. I was like, oh my gosh, gotta get into this thing. Um, you can still get into it by using that same code. Uh, we're just gonna let this uh, count down, but you can still access uh, the contents by using that code uh, to get in. This has one extra feature and you can kind of see this button in the center, it's a shield. Uh, and that is the fortress mode. And that mode, uh, which you'll turn on as you're selecting the time will mean that you cannot use a code to open the box. You have to wait for the timer to end before you can get in. There is no uh, other way uh, to open it. So you can see the timer ended. There was no sound. It just ended. It just unlocked. And now uh, we can access uh, the inside. They do mention 
If you are in that fortress mode and you absolutely need your device, you can email them the support and they will what? tell you a new code and it might take about 24 hours to get it. What? But uh, my so heart pills are locked uh, in there. One final thing is just uh, <laughs> in this tub that they give you, they have cutouts and even cutouts like along this edge here so that you could put a wire through and charge a device if you wanted to use uh, an electronic device in the lockbox. So, uh, once again, it is called Mindsight, 45 bucks. It comes in three different colors. I got the wood, uh, you can see the gray, and uh, just a black. And one more thing uh, before we leave, uh, if you're wondering about the batteries, the batteries are hidden underneath this silicone rubber thing, and they're just right there, and they're just two uh, AA batteries. And uh, back to you guys. There you go, the last of the time-based gadgets. Um, well, you know, what? Well, well what if the batteries went dead? Uh, so you can you can access the batteries uh, even if it's oh on even, the outside. Yeah, on the outside, on the outside. Yeah, uh, yeah, you can just get to them. No, I meant during the timing cycle. Oh, uh, it's really not that secure. So you just pop new batteries in, and then and then and it pick up. Yeah, hopefully. and then do yeah. the code and open it. Like it really, it really is much more about mind, you know, being mindful of not touching it, yeah. and and less about like, you know, you if a, a hammer could break this easily. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> if you absolutely needed to. Um, one fun thing that I forgot to mention that I noticed during the video that is a bit annoying is the lid, um, only one of the teeth from this lid moves in. So you do have to keep, this one will never move. So you ha the way to close it oh, is you have to kind of, yep. you kind of have to slide it in, uh, in order to get it in. You can't just put the lid uh, on top. You have to slide it, uh, which is a bit annoying. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a good way to keep, uh, I mean, if, if, I think it would work great for kids or people with really horrible impulse control like me. And so it's, it's easy to just say, it's in the box. You know, I, I just won't, you know, uh, you know, mess with my phone or whatever for an hour and then be able to get chores done or whatever. Um, there you go. The one thing, honestly, that I dislike about it is the price. Um, it's very high. It's extremely expensive for kind of what it does. Um, in my opinion, uh, 45 bucks for a plastic thing with a, with a timer. Um, but there really isn't much also in this space. Like you can see that every sort of timer thing uh, is also pretty expensive. Um, so there you go. It's, I guess there's just like a small well, where's niche. Scooter at? Where's Scooter X when you need them? I know, I know. Also a, a small pet peeve is I hate the name. Mind Sight? Mind Sight. I guess it's out of sight, out of mind. But I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like the name. No, I, I, I it think it's, if you buy it, you're out of your mind. Exactly. It's mind. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay, well, with that, let's move on to Dick's crappy Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play in this gadget warehouse. Oh, oh. So I came up with an idea I think is fun. Two weeks ago, or three weeks ago, we had our uh, 2000 episode, and Giz won. Mark sent in like a minute and a half video showing lots of little clips from gadgets we showed and the other day i started watching it again thinking i don't even know what some of these gadgets were <laughs> like this i thought why don't we from time to time go through this chad what what, what, what the heck was, was this did you pedal it but did you jump up and down on those boards to make it go so this was uh it was a kick scooter um and no you, you just it just it was electric so underneath oh it's is, electric okay. yeah this is a big battery that you'd step on um this was a razor scooter so i had been playing around with a lot of kick scooters this probably would have been like four years ago um at this point something like that um razor 
I don't quite know what to search for. What's interesting is they had this. Oh, Scooter said it's the Echo Smart. There you go. Uh, this is this is it. It's an expensive uh, thing. Here's one with a seat. Um, I thought the seat was kind of interesting um, for that type of thing. Um, and then, huh? And then there's one without the seat, which is the one that I had. I had the stand up one. You know what? Uh, actually. $400? Yeah, there it is, up here. Now the one thing I kind of didn't like about it was the batteries seemed a little, they didn't give me much confidence. <laughs> um, you had to charge them with the really funky looking charging cable that looked like an XLR cable. It looked like a microphone cable. Um, <laughs> yeah, I didn't really love that. It's It, it took a long time to charge. Um, and you still have it? No, I ended up getting rid of that when I moved uh, oh, okay. to uh, Florida. Let me think. Uh, the problem, so I had a few kick scooters. I had the nine bot, the, the Segway oh, nine yeah, bot. Oh, that was nice, yeah. Yeah. Um, this Razor EcoSmart, this is, they reached out to me and sent it to me. Um, and then I had another scooter that I got to test and this one, the coolest part of this scooter was that its platform was so large, uh, which was which is very unique. I mean, the whole the foot platform here. I can kind of look at it over here. This foot platform was absolutely massive, um, and then the tires being this big, you know, oh being yeah, yeah, six or seven inches, or whatever they are, eight inch tires. I'm not exactly sure, but they're way bigger than all the other electric scooters. All the other electric kick scooters have tires that are like this big. Um, and so that one, you'd hit a bump and it, and it would be way safer. It would be the way nicer uh, of a bump because the tire was filled with air, it was big, it could handle it. Um, so uh, that was its. That was what I liked about it. Um, and then what I kind of didn't like about it was the battery charging stuff. It didn't have great range. It's interesting that they're still making it. Yeah. They are. They are. Here it is. Here's the one that I got because it doesn't have the seat. Oh my gosh! Now it's six twenty. I think this is because it's their, their website. <laughs> this is the Razor website, so oh, probably find it for way less expensive. I would guess. I would guess. Um, but yeah, there, there was. Yeah, there was a smooth ride. This is what I'm saying. Smooth ride. Um, the other thing. Oh my gosh, the brakes on this thing were real brakes which some of the other scooters are not. They're like the electric, like, regenerative brakes. Oh, yeah, yeah. The brakes on this thing would stop it, like, quick, <laughs> like, very fast. So Over it has the something... handlebars? Yeah, and, and, and handlebars. So it has some things going for it, and it had some things that kind of weren't going for it. Um, but, yeah, that's the, that's the story behind the Razor uh, kick scooter. This is a good one. Let's see. Is there any other? Oh, there was one. Uh, what? Do you know what that was? This that Leo it, was using. Right. Oh my gosh. What? Uh, uh, uh. You're talking about the the this? Y yes. That was elephant toothpaste day. We. Uh, I don't know why we made elephant toothpaste. I remember. I think I may have been on the camera. This may have been me recording this. Um, Oh, this is something you guys made in the studio? Yeah. During the during the episode, I think it was an elephant toothpaste kit or something. I don't exactly remember why we had elephant toothpaste that day. But, uh, yeah, we stuck it into a bottle and it went really high up into the, up into the air. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, and someone's saying, oh, I miss the people going by the window. This is the... Brick house, right? Yes, yes. This is the brick house in the, in the Ham Nation corner. Um, yeah, this this window back there. Yeah, people would walk past all the time, um, and it was fun because daylight savings. Uh, the sun would always get dark around Gizwiz time, and so you could really I, like daylight savings was like real because like. Yeah, or the, the the timing. You could tell that like throughout the year, I was like, it's darker than it was. Oh, than oh, that's very funny. It was like perfect timing. I loved, I love that. Uh, that you could, that's very funny. You could tell. Anyway, I thought from from time to time we could go back to this, and <laughs> find weird stuff. This was, 
I forgot. I How owned we... these, Dickie D. Oh my God, the ears. The ears moved for some reason, yes, right? Yes, with, so, with your brain waves. Yeah, so this is one brave brain sensor, and then this is the other on your earlobe. And it would pinch your earlobe, and it would hurt. It would hurt after, like, 20 minutes. So you'd be like, my earlobe is being pinched. But it's supposed to read your brain waves and then move the ears based off of your brain waves. And um, uh, I'm pretty sure um, Amethyst from Twitch sent these over to me and um i probably still have them in a box somewhere because they oh were my gosh oh <laughs> they my were gosh. also not and expensive but this is you covering them at a at a thing but I, uh, at an event at yeah. an event and i and then you know years later i got a pair sent to me and i i uh uh used them and and they came with different ears you could buy different ear styles so if you wanted to pop out I the think ears the, you think could scooter x might have found a link to them <laughs> oh my gosh do you i guess the price they are still available right now on amazon Any and yes are they a hundred dollars a hundred and ten dollars that was a good guess wow. This actually might not be the one because it doesn't have. Oh, it does. It does have the ear clamp thing. Yeah, that's it. Hundred and ten bucks. And I remember the ear. You could get different ear styles. Yeah, you could get different ears. Yeah, that's so funny. <laughs> that is a riot. <laughs> this is a good way. If we don't have a uh, gadget warehouse, we'll go back to Giz One's video and just talk a little bit about yeah, some of the. Fine. <laughs> About Some of the old weird, gadgets. It's it's kind of fun to think we've had some weird stuff. Yeah, over twenty for years. A long yeah. time. Yes, exactly. <laughs> for a very long time. And I really, and it's crazy what some some stuff jogs the memory and some stuff does not. Yeah, especially something that I had, <laughs> and I just remembered that the ears moved around, but I couldn't remember what was making them move. <laughs> And it was yes. lack of brain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. Uh, okay, well, with that, let's head to the letter. Become the letters. You love the letters. Become the kids letters now. Yeah. Okay. Our letter is from Bruce Hill, inspired by Moe's video about his... Uh, this hit the solid state drive he bought that was a ripoff. Uh, um, and Bruce writes, There's been a lot of counterfeit drives on the market lately, it's been covered on security now several times. Oh. Steve Gibson has written a free program to test your drive to see if it's counterfeit. Many are being sold formatted to a larger size than they actually are. Some will seem to work fine until you try to read back the data. Yeah, like it's um, one terabyte. Bruce Hill, <laughs> and I found the link to it. I'll put the link in the show notes to Steve's uh, program to let, let you know. Yeah, I once bought one of those things, maybe from Ali uh, AliExpress. You know. Uh, yeah, the, the way overly... I, I, yeah, I saved three songs on it and did a disc full. Yes. The, yeah. yeah, they have megabytes, not terabytes yes, of data exactly. on them. <laughs> exactly. And this was just happening. You, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, as, you know, for viewers of the show, Mo had bought a big drive that was light, thin, yes. cheap, and couldn't get it, but plugged it in, and it still said that it was that big. On yeah. his computer, but uh, yeah, no, no luck with actually using it. And its speed was horrible. The speed yes. of the drive was just. I absolute. think Mo said he it never finished downloading the first thing that he tried to put yes. on it, which yes. was a big file. So Steve Gibson's website, easy to remember, grc.com, grc uh, for Gibson Research Corporation, grc. Uh, so grc.com and Vala Drive is uh the program it's pretty cool it's nice that he made a program that uh will tell us helps the truth. you helps you yes yes exactly gotta get to the bottom of this 
Exactly. Um, also, if you want to send in a video, we have one for next week. It, it arrived just before the show, so it didn't quite make this show. Uh, but make a video, anything to do with a gadget. Video should just be in horizontal format. Make sure we can hear you. Be in it if you want, or just talk about the gadget as you show it. And put it up on YouTube when you upload it. There's a drop-down menu. You can click unlisted if you don't want people to just stumble on your video. Um, you'll get that URL and email it to us, mail at gizwiz.tv. And if you show your video, we show almost all of them. Uh, you'll get the current issue of Mad Magazine. Ma uh, mail at gizwiz.tv. We have one for next week. And then we're looking, especially if you haven't sent one in before, just use a, your phone. Easy, easy, easy. Yes. <clears throat> yeah. Just lands or uh, not portrait mode, landscape. Yes. Easy. Send it in. Uh, do it now. With that, I want to say big thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. Thank you guys so much. So, 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 so much for supporting our show. We really appreciate your support so much. Um... And so if you like the Gizwiz, please consider giving back. Patreon.com slash Gizwiz or head on over to our website, gizwiz.tv. Click on the Patreon tab at the top of our website and there's a big banner that'll take you to Patreon or a tiny little link that uh, will take you to PayPal so you can donate uh, that way. Gizwiz.tv is where we record the show live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. So head on over to our website uh, around that time and uh, join us for the live taping of the show. Also join the chat room. The chat room is filled with fantastic folks and they're talking about every all the gadgets, sharing links and uh, just having a great time uh, with the show. So uh, join the chat room when we're live. If uh, there's ever a scheduled change, uh, it'll be at the, posted at the top of the website. Uh, and um, I don't think it's, we don't have any scheduled changes for a little mm, while. Not yet. No, we're, not, we're good. Not for a bit. Head on over to Gizwiz, not Biz at Sticky D's, a website where he writes articles about all of the gadgets that we cover on this show. So if you're ever needing a link or a look back or a reminder of a gadget, gizwiz.biz is the place to go while you're there. You can play What the Heck Is It, the original. What the heck is it? Not the, the fake What the Heck Is It we have on today's <laughs> show. Uh, this is the real one, um, and this is the entire gadget, not just a piece or a part of it. Uh, and this is um, obvious to me um, that this is an attachment you put into the washing machine and uh, it will hold your straws for the wash. You know, as the wash is going around, it just holds that little straw right there. Uh, if you think you know what this is, get a guess in six mad magazines for correct answers, 12 mad magazines for funny, clever, hilarious, or interesting answers. So get a guess in over at GizWiz. And this contest is. ends. In a couple of days. Yeah. Last and chance. then a new one starts on Sunday. That's exciting. That is very exciting. Uh, I'd love to find out what the heck is it. Because honestly, I'll give you a little hint. I have no idea what this <laughs> does. I, have no, I am lost on this gadget. Um, that about wraps it up for our show. We'll see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs>